Welcome back to the show, everyone. Uh, to discuss arts and entertainment within Islam, we have comedian, entertainer, known all over North America, Hamza Moin. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Basim. It's been like a childhood dream of mine to be on the show. So this is like a dream come true. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. So just to let our viewers know, could you tell us a bit about what Maniac Muslim is? Well, what Maniac Muslim is, I mean, I, I started off the website as a comedy website, a place where I can write my articles, uh, articles that pertain to the Muslim community, as well as uh, articles to clear up some misconceptions about Islam, but do it in a humorous sense. So what, what the website will be trying to do now is um, we're trying to foster more of an artistic culture within the Muslim community, make it more of an artistic hub by including things like poetry, filmmaking, and spoken word. Okay, so you talk about all these arts. Now, could I ask you exactly what's inspiring you to do all this or what's the main cause that kind of, kind of launched this whole project? Well, I find that mm, over the last couple of years, the Muslim community, especially in North America, we're starting to see this uh, emergence of an Islamic artistic renaissance, so mm. to speak. And uh, I'll, there's a lot of up-and-coming Muslim artists who are extremely talented in what they're doing. Uh, it, whether it's poetry or film or music, they have an immense amount of talent, but the main problem that they have right now is that they don't really have any exposure. So what I hope to do, and what I have with Maniac Muslim, for whatever reason, uh, due to my uh, articles and my comedy that I've built up over the years, it's sort of gained a, a kind of a, a user base with the website. So what I hope to do with the website is to kind of let these up-and-coming performers uh, use the website to kind of gain some exposure for them, to gain, to gain a, lot, a, a, a big and large uh, Muslim audience. Okay, so how do you see this play in the larger context, I guess, within Islam or within the larger Muslim community? Well, I find that w within the larger Muslim community, we don't really have too many things that inspire us. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's one thing to kind of get involved in, in, in a lot of uh, knowledge and endeavors, but uh, in order for a lot of us to kind of take on a lot of these big uh, sort of uh, debates or, or defending Islam on a massive scale, we really need to inspire ourselves on a, on a smaller scale first to kind of, so we can kind of build up these scholars. And in order to do that, we need to build up an artistic uh, an, an arts scene in the Muslim community. Okay, so could you tell us a bit about, I guess, your impact because you started off as an entertainer, comedian, uh, and you've been doing this for a couple of years now, so do you see any impact that you've kind of caused? Well, it was sort of by accident, actually. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, uh, I didn't really intend on becoming like this big guy for like Muslim arts. This is something I just sort of developed over, over the last few years. Um, I mean, I just started off by writing things. Uh, it started off with the South Asian community and talking about some of the kind of quirks that some of people of my culture do. Things like having uh, a staring problem and why, why, do, why do our people have staring problems? And do we just stare at people sometimes. And I take some of the things that we do in our culture and, and, and I, I wrote satire about it. But what I realized is that the Muslim community didn't really have anything like this. They didn't really have uh, any sort of sat, uh, satirical writers mm. within the Muslim community. So I kind of felt like maybe I can kind of fulfill this need. And so I started writing and that's what that's how it sort of built up over the years. Okay. Mm. Well, I mean, given you're a comedian and you're a Muslim, uh, do you think of yourself as maybe different than I guess your regular comedian? Or are you different or what's the similarities and differences there? Well, yeah, the main difference, I mean, especially with that, I started doing stand up comedy a few years mm. ago. And, and it's a bit more difficult to, to do comedy in front of Muslim crowds. As you mm. might know, Muslims cannot drink alcohol. Yes. So the crowd is completely sober. Mm. And as a result, they're a lot more alert. Um, drunk crowds can kind of laugh at anything. Uh, Non-Muslim stand-up comedians have the ability to swear and curse, uh, which usually makes the joke a lot funnier if mm. you can kind of put a, a few curse words in there. Muslim comedians, we cannot do that because it's against, it, it gets against our own religion. Mm. So we have to uh, stay within the bounds of Islam, but, but still kind of keeping it funny at the same time. It's a tough balance, but uh, it, it's a fun challenge to, 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 to kind of go over. Okay, that's great. Now, do you also find that, you know, I guess, given the Muslim community, they're very serious. Uh, do you get any criticisms, you know, when you're doing any comedy? Or... Absolutely. So, I, I, absolutely I, I love the criticism, actually. Um, over the years, I mean... I feel that if you're not getting criticized, mm -hmm. you're not really, you know, changing the status quo. Um, and I got some of the, the funniest criticisms too. Like I have people that physically threaten me. They're like, I'm going to give you a black eye if I see you in real life. <laughs> and, uh, so far, I have no one's really physically hurt me. Um, 
and hopefully no one is, and none of your viewers will hurt me. Okay. But uh, uh, that's something that that I, I believe it kind of helps me out as well. That there are there are there is a lot of constructive criticism as well, and mm -hmm. for the most part, the majority of people have taken a liking to the website, have given me constructive feedback over the years, and uh, the majority of the response that I find in the Muslim community is very positive for this kind of thing. Okay. Uh, do you also find because of your work, maybe you've inspired other comedians to maybe come into this, I guess, uh, Muslim sphere also? Um, I, I, I don't really know if I directly inspired other mm -hmm. comedians. I hope it, I would. Um, and I hope I would, if, if I don't inspire other comedians, I'd inspire other artists to do, do their thing with poetry or to, to do some films or to do making a song or whatever. Um, but I, I can't see, I can't really tell you if I directly inspired anyone. I mean, that's just kind of... Yeah, I inspired them all. No, no, I can't, I can't say that. Um, I just hope that if I'm not doing this, I hope someone else is doing it. I hope, so, I hope this, this Muslim artistic scene is moving in a positive direction. Okay, great. All right, everyone, we'll be back after the break with more with Hamza Moin. Thank you.